Next up, we're looking at manager of the season in the Premier League. Two contenders, Brendan Rodgers of Liverpool, Tony Pulis of Crystal Palace. Uh, I've got two guys with me to fight their causes. We've got Jim Daly of the Five Year Plan fanzine. Uh, we've got Paul Machen of Red Men TV. I'll start with you, Jim. Yeah. Tony Pulis, why? Um, simply because the job that he's done, I think, is the biggest job of any manager. If you think where Palace were when he took over, four points pretty much gone. To turn that around in the way that he has, even before January when he got his own players in, it was the same group. And he got them playing fantastic football. Maybe not fantastic football. He got them <laughs> <in the match. laughs> no, But it's not been bad, though, Jim. It's not been terrible. No. It's not, it certainly hasn't been Pulis ball, if yeah. we're going to borrow cliches. Yeah. I do love a cliche. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's, been, it's been direct, and it, but it's been effective. And, and like I said, it's that same group of players. He just suddenly got them believing that they could win games again. And I don't know how uh, he did that. Well, I was, I was told that he went in the dressing room the first day. He said, I've never been relegated. And I don't intend to start now. So we're going to get out of it. The players, and the players just went... That's yeah, almost a movie. Big talk, big talk. That's manager. Hollywood esque. That's Hollywood's that movie, movie esque. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but absolutely right. He hasn't been relegated. He, he. I think he knows how to get the best out of whoever he's working with, which is why at Stoke it was quite a long ball and quite direct. And at Palace, he's just got players like Punchin and Balassi, just getting the best out of them, making them believe they can play again. And, and as a result, it's been, well, it's been glorious for us. Paul, what do you reckon? Yeah, convinced. Well done, Lisa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we. Um, yeah, I, I think obviously Pulis has done a, a phenomenal job. I've got a soft spot for, for Palace, I've quite well publicised on our show. Um, but Brendan Rodgers, I mean, look, nobody's... Been, I, look, I'm the eternal optimist. I've spent the last 24 years, more or less, since we last won the title, saying every year is going to be our year, mm. and it, it never is. And some of that is just red-tinted glasses, just, I say, blind faith or what have you. I mean, to be honest, this season I didn't think we had a chance. I didn't think we had any chance of coming anywhere near the, the, the Premier League title. And... You know, okay, it's not in our hands anymore. It, it looks like it's going to go to City, but for the job to take us from seventh all the way up, nobody, nobody thought we had a chance of doing that. And anyone who does is either walking around with a big cocky smile on their face, or they're just lying, just bare-faced <laughs> lying, because you'd be mental to suggest that. Well, that. it could, it could be the goal difference where Liverpool miss out slightly. But it, here's a stat for you: apparently, Rodgers in Liverpool have broken the previous record for goals scored away from home, which uh, dates back to 46-47 wow. season, which is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And, and, and okay, if he wins the league, I mean, I think, you know, manager of the season, that's, that's you know, unfortunately for you, Jim, that's <laughs> just going to happen, really. Well, I mean, but if he doesn't win the but league... If, but he, if he doesn't win the league... I think maybe it's Pulis' should it, title. Should it affect it that much? That my, per, my personal yeah. view at the start of the season, I looked at um, the two sides. If you'd have said to me, Crystal Palace will stay up, I'd have said... Maybe outside chance. There's a few ports. If you'd have said to me Liverpool going to win the league, I'd have got no chance. I'd have said absolutely no chance. So I think for the fact but that Brendan Rodgers has gone from seventh to potentially win the league, but I think if you if, you, if you'd have said when Pulis came in, mm. Palace would yeah. stay up. And we're talking about records. We've broken records as well. With five wins on the bounce, which was a club record, we've never stayed in the Premier League after one season before. We've always gone down. That's a new record. And Pulis is, is breaking records as much as. Rogers, and here's a question: Can we award Manager of the Year to a man who has a life-size painting of himself in his living room? That's the clincher. That is a clincher. <laughs> Paul, Paul, oh, where's say, your comeback on that? Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, where is the comeback? Where is the Brendan? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's, he's, you've made you've made a compelling case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I afraid, yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Tony Pulis. Uh, you can buy get the, Does he get cash for that? Get himself a new baseball cap? For the yeah, no, <laughs> Even Paul's conceded Tony Pulis <laughs> manager of the season. Yeah, but what do you think? Let us oh, know uh, on Facebook or on Twitter at Ball Street. <laughs>